thing I said to Darkstar, find me a player who's outside the top 50, who can win an event because they've won before and they really need the money and they really need the points because they don't make a lot of money and they don't have enough points. And what name came to mind? Darkstar RBC Heritage betting breakdown. Here we are on Tuesday, running into the Heritage that starts in two days, program tomorrow. And uh, you mentioned to me, which I didn't know, uh, <laughs> this is a designated event. Who would have thunk it? On the PGA Tour. And Darkstar said, it's a designated event. I said, Can't what, be. is there a new Chick-fil-A in the area? That it won't have a line maybe around the corner? I could get my you know, the sandwich? Uh, no, no, this is one of those big money. It's a big money, big event. money. And I, and, and we're going to go through all the guys have to be there. It's although a, it's, Rory's not going to be, that just goes to show you Rory doesn't yeah, need to really be there. doesn't care about the pit money. Yeah. Um, yeah. which maybe that makes it better for everybody else. I wonder what they do with, they probably keep it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I bet that's an interesting they're question. Gonna, they're going to donate it to the Tiger Woods mm. Foundation. Uh, so what, how to bet this thing. So this is. It's a special tournament. It's it's unique, it's different. Yeah, yeah, it's unique. It's different because it's worth a ton of money. Right. And the two reasons it's interesting: it's worth a ton of money, and the top twenty guys that are, you know are always going to be your likely winners don't care. Right. They just so, don't care. And, you know, the guys that played well at the Masters, and are, they just don't want to be there at all. Yeah. It's a it's a short course. Right. Also, so you're going to bring in guys that typically can't win a major, can't win on the longer mm-hmm. courses. It's a, and like you said, the biggest thing is you've got like right now it's Tuesday morning. John Rahm is back in Arizona. I'm thinking he flew back. He just got up and he's brushing the green jacket with one of those brushes, you know. And he's going to go try yeah. it out. He's going to go put it on. The kids were going to go home with Kelly. He was going to go home with them. They all flew together. Had a great plane ride. He's walking around his box. Probably with on a Monday green morning, right? He right must now. have stayed at Augusta overnight, yeah. right? Yeah. You would right. think to extend the celebration. Um, yeah, he's going to come fly in on Wednesday morning and have the the pilot waiting for him for Friday when he misses the cut. I mean, that's a, if I could bet Rom missing the cut, I would. Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely do that. But so the the what makes this special? All the guys are there to make it huge money, and none of them really care about winning. We say that. I mean, maybe one of them does, but. You know, certainly the guys like Rom don't care. Uh, and the points. Huge the points. points. Yep. OWGR points. So if you're sitting, I said to Darkstar, find me a player who's outside the top 50, who can win an event because they've won before and they really need the money and they really need the points because they don't make a lot of money and they don't have enough points to get into the PGA or the U.S. Open or the Open, the other big money events where you'd love to do well. And what name came to mind? Are we down that far yet? Yeah, need well, the just, points. Let's just need the it. money. Let's throw him out there. Yeah. He's such a fun guy. He's a <laughs> genuine, honest, fun guy. And Kevin Kisner. Kiz. Kiz. Where have you been? Kiz. Kevin, we love you. I know that you're thinking about this. And One you've of the- been thinking about this since they rolled out the schedule. He's like, Harbortown, I can, I can hit those greens. I can, I can do well there. Because it's not 10 miles long. It's... But- He's gotten all these missed cuts at all these big golf courses. Yeah, and still one of the great quotes of all time when he looked into the mic and dead serious, they pay a pretty good check for 20th place. He's, he's, it's a career for, he's a working man. I mean, he's. This is a real, the golf is a job for him. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a great job, but, and he's a great guy and he's a good player. He's been there before. He's been, he's been in the hunt he's won we didn't look it up he's won at least a couple times i think but he's been in the hunt a lot and he he's rubbed elbows with all the big players he's not afraid he's not a kid he knows what to do he's a professional he manages his own game and this course is short and he and that's got, his number one problem. Number, is short number off the one team. for us is well, two things. Number one is we said, oh, we didn't get to ten, the <laughs> ten of the top twenty guys aren't going to care. Well, so we you throw out ten of the top twenty guys, well, and the odds are great. And and because he needs the points and needs the money, that auto, automatically means that whoever we're looking at is got great odds. Yeah. So so let here's the we should have done this in reverse order. Yeah. Kisner's odds to win the Heritage Arbor <laughs> 10. 
which you know it's still not it's obviously not easy to do but he does need the money he does need the points what are his odds he's f- plus 50,000 he's plus 50,000 I saw that and I'm like hmm. yeah he's 500 to 1 yeah so so yeah. you take your your don't don't that go that money you were going to go yeah. buy that quarter pound with cheese well, after, skip after a, you saw skip one round of golf you oh, know geez. don't pay the 100 dollar cart fee and fee if you're playing oh. a, a public track or if you're at a, pub, a private track, you know, skip the cart fee and lunch. Take that hundred bucks and put it on Kisner to win as a flyer, right? That's an obviously. Yeah. Well, so I like I like I like him actually more at well, thirty five. Well, get to that. Get to that. Well, wait a minute. Can I just bask in the glow of a hundred dollars turning into fifty thousand dollars? I mean, the odds of Kisner winning that bet are better than you winning the lottery or a lot of other things that people right. bet on. Fifty k. Yeah, as we talked about with Brooks Kepka, you win a 45 to 1, 50 to 1 bet once in your life. And, you know, we're going to pick a few of them out. Kisner, like yeah. I said, in this unique setting, has a chance. He's yes. got a chance. Now, is he going to do it? Odds are. Odds are not. But my, my point is, he's probably 1 in 100 to win, and you're getting mm-hmm. 1 in 500. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, the that's yeah. the point. That that's the real point. We're yeah. we're joking around about taking your McDonald's or your Starbucks money. I, I really like him at thirty five to one. Well, let's get into 10. that. So yeah. because he's a great winner pick because of the odds, then he's also probably going to be a great top ten. Yeah. And what is, what's to the one? top ten? Thirty five to one. Plus yeah, we're looking at our board down here. Yeah, thirty five to, to one. one. Right. Thirty five hundred for a top and, ten. And who would ever root against Kevin Kisner? You gotta have a real issue yeah, if you oh don't yeah. like Kevin yeah, Kisner. Yeah. Now we're, when we say top ten, we're really meaning we think Kiss is gonna finish the top five because of the stupid dead heat thing yeah. that crushes you like a bug because we'd hate for Kisner to finish T eight or T nine and, and all With of a sudden seventeen you, other you guys. Don't, you don't make any money. Yeah. You, know, you lose money. Yeah. So that would be awfully depressing. So we're saying he's gonna finish the odds of thirty five hundred dollars per hundred. Right. To finish top, really T five or better, is worth it, right? Yeah. Throw a little money. Throw a little. What do we yeah. say? Quarter pounder money. Quarter pounder money. A little quarter pounder money Cause, at that. Because you saw our nutrition show, and you're not eating the quarter. Correct. Pounders so you've got you've saved up, and and now until you can, late. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Until now, you after your round. <laughs> so who else? Now this. So we're looking for guys who need the money, need the points, or really need something because this event, it's a short course, so it helps the short hitters, but. Also, if, even if you're a long hitter, the top guys aren't going to be there. They're yeah. going to be partying. They're not going to. They don't care. They're going to get cut. They're just. They're just not going to perform for the most part. With some exception, maybe a Cantlay performs because he's a steady worker. Um, who else do you like? I like this next name on the list. Well, I I, I, I want to talk about the last name. Great, first. Your, any name you want. I'm I'm throwing in Thagala to actually win. I do like that name. He's sixty to one. Yeah, that's unbelievable. That's surprising. He had a very good master. He had a very good master. And but why but he doesn't need any of those initial things. He needs an actual victory. He needs a victory. So I look at Thigal and the other guy we're thinking about that needs a victory, Cam Young. Also not a short hitter. Not so a short these hitter. guys are just good players who yeah. don't have to worry about the twenty guys ahead of them. Well, I am hoping their caddy really wants his ten percent. Yeah. And goes, hey, Cam, uh, <laughs> Cam, this is the three iron. You're going to sleep with the three iron because you're going to be using it off you know, the tee a, every time. That is an excellent point that we did not put on our board. But you know a guy like Kisner's caddy is in his ear over a yeah. beer going, hey, man, you know I only get 10%. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, you the, need the money. The, I yeah, need the money. Right. The, screw you. <laughs> I really need the money. You know, it's a, if, the, if the payout's $3.5 million, I think, is what these designated events have been in the first place. There, so yeah. Right around there. You know, three hundred fifty grand for the caddy. Yeah. So the caddy's going to be, you know, giving the massage. He's got the extra ice bag. He's, you yeah. know, he's going to go for the beer and the coffee. He's going to make it all as good as he can. Uh, all these caddies, right? Um, they for may all be these more guys. focused. They're going to probably be more focused on the player on Absolutely. Thursday morning. And that can, that can, your wingman can really make a difference. Yeah. I mean, he's going to grind over every read. He's going to help him. I ho- hopefully he'll come in with the bag when the guy's <laughs> exactly. about to hit the wrong shot. You know, no, no, I'm not you're not moving the bag. Yeah, no. yeah. You could try to swing at this, but that's not going to happen. You know, so if your if your horse gets a little off, you know, yeah, th- that's what the caddy's supposed to do. I love the Thagala, six uh, plus six thousand. Yeah. So today, Young and Thagala, you would hope also, and we're going to talk. Let, let's talk about the next name for political reasons, because I absolutely, I, I would be shocked 
if Fowler doesn't get a preferred team. Ricky Fowler, plus 5,500. Would they love, would the PGA Tour love more than anything for Ricky to really reemerge? Oh, poli- I mean, it's a political thing. That's why yeah. we said political reasons. Yeah. It's a managed game. But, it just uh, is. And let, they would love Ricky to do something. And, let's and say, tomorrow would love, tomorrow sports would love Ricky to do something. And he's got great odds. Fifty, I think it's 55. What's his, where, where was he in the OWGR right today? 59, somewhere. Was he that high? Do you have it? Maybe um, you look. Uh, if it can come up quickly. I Because yeah, we'll I thought time. he jumped big. He's jumped up quite a bit. And I want to say he's in 30, He's in the 30s now. Or maybe I'm thinking no, of somebody else. Of somebody else. He didn't get that high. So... If he's outside the top 50, which wouldn't be surprising, then he needs yeah. the points. He's 58th. So. All right, so he needs the points to get to the majors right. and, and what, this year. What are we really trying to accomplish here? We're joking around a little bit because it is sort of a hit and giggle that's worth a lot of money. But the point is, as we talked about, these casinos, their algorithms are based on an, obscene, an insane amount of statistics. But their algorithms can't take into account politics. Intangibles. Intangibles. They can't take into account that Thigal and Young have not won a term. They can't take into account Kisner needs the money. They can't take into account if Ricky doesn't get a preferential treatment, I'd be shocked. The the motivation factor. So that's where you pick up the extra odds. And you always want to try to swing the odds in your favor. Absolutely. Well, and you've got to pick your spots where the algorithm isn't trying to kill you. Because the algorithm wins a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So yeah, I I like Fowler for political reasons. He's likely to get a preferred tee times. One would hope. The the early late, early on Thursday, late on Friday, one would hope. If that comes true, it's only Tuesday now, then we'll be on to something, right? If if nothing else, Rom will switch times with him and say, <laughs> Ricky, I got the plane tea I got the plane teed up at Friday at lunch. So if you could, <laughs> if you yeah, could exactly. can we switch times cause and, and you got one other name up there, right? So we got we got Thigala, we got Kisner, we got Fowler. Oh yeah, well Duffner just because he's gonna have to play in the he's gonna have to play in the PGA. <laughs> Jason Duffner is in the field. He's in the field so here somehow. I don't understand he how. Needs the money. Big time, I'm thinking, because yeah. the PGA win was a long time ago. Long time ago. He needs the money. He obviously needs the points if he wants to continue to get into some of these events and make money. He's how old is Duffner? We didn't go over that before the show. He's, he's not super old. Um, he's not young. He's got to be almost four. He's yeah, be like four. I'm, he's running out of runway. He's, he's sort of with he and Kisner are probably going to be having pasta the night before. So there's another name, but Kisner's got a much better game right now than Duffner. Yeah. So Duffner's even. I don't know. What were Duffner's odds? I don't but remember that. Duffner's odds. Oh, were, he was 100,000. He was 100,000. Yeah. So Kiz so, is 50,000 plus 50,000. Duffner's plus 100,000. So maybe put five bucks on Duffner. Yeah. Five bucks. Yeah. But he's like, I think he was pretty solid too for a top 10, you know, like 10 bucks on a top 10. Yeah. And the whole point oh, is. Oh, yeah. That's down there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I forget what the odds were, but they're good. If he's $100,000 to win. Right. Then. But my whole point to all of that is. Those are, you don't want to make too many bets prior to the tournament. No, th- actually, we didn't say that. Let's right. say it now. Yeah, the, these are the we'll... high flyer bets that you would do before, but you know the mantra of the show is bet after the first tee shot is hit because yeah. it's just, live betting is where you right. basically want to live. So, so go if, ahead, pick if up. If any the... of these guys are in contention, you can hedge them off with guys that you after have the a, cut. after the cut that have a better chance. Especially if you're looking around top tens. I mean, you'd love. Right. I'd love for. Well, why don't you walk through that strategy a little bit for some of the guys that don't bet all the time? Well, the hedging c- hedging after this initial picks. Well, the, the easiest thing, of course, is what we did with Augusta. We had Kepka to win, starting on uh, Sunday, uh, the, starting the, round yeah. four. We had Rahm at plus Kepka 140. Kepka to win before the tournament started. So the money you put on Kepka to win before mm-hmm. the tournament, you put the same amount or a little more on Rahm, and you're guaranteed a profit. So the, the concept is, if you've got a guy like this in the hunt who's getting huge odds, you can take two or three guys high up the leaderboard at not so great odds and hedge off your picks. Correct. And you look for guys that are playing well, guys that have incentive, et cetera. Just the, mm-hmm. the simple things we're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and and that's, what, that's all you can hope for. Yeah, it's math. Yeah. Just add up the, the dollars and... You're trying to put, put the odds in our favor. You've you got to beat the algorithm somehow. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, I like that. Thanks for mentioning that. Yeah. And then we didn't mention Cam Young yet, or did we? 
Oh, Cam Young and Thigala the same. This thing. is a pre-tournament they, they, bet. They pre-tournament both bet. need to win. Okay, they haven't won yet, so they have incentive to win. And this is the kind of sort of it's Cam Young at twenty-two hundred. Twenty-two hundred. This is a minor, although it's a, it's a minor event that all of a sudden has this designated status, and it, it's it's huge points as you mentioned on top of everything. So. They have some incentive, and I'd be surprised if they don't get – the PGA needs stars, and they need to create some stars. They've been trying to create Max Homa into a star. Um, they would love Cam Young because they love to hit the ball. You know, they love the guys that can hit the ball forever. Mm-hmm. Thigala checks all the boxes also. So I, I think they would. Yeah. A Thigala win would be very popular down in Ponte Vedra, yeah, I think. absolutely. Seems like a very nice guy too, I yeah. might add. And, and I mean – did we say he he had a good finish? I think we mentioned that he was minus five, top ten at, top Augusta, 10 at Augusta in dicey conditions where you needed to have a complete game. Yeah. You had to be a grinder. You have to be obviously good putter, obviously a good chipper, obviously good across the bag to finish in the top ten there. Yeah, I mean, how do you get? How do you do that and be? 6,000 the next week. I, I, and he's a young guy. He could yeah. go play twice before then yeah, and still be exactly. fresh. I mean, he's done, he doesn't need the rest. Yeah, that's goofy. That's very but, goofy. But the point is that before the tournament, all you can do is look at the intangibles to try to put the odds in your favor. Yeah. Because you can't beat the, the computers. favorites. The favorites yeah. are not. You're just never going to get the odds that you need. To, no. Almost never. So you got to look past that. I mean, um, and this because it's a short right. track and... Uh, the top 20 we're saying don't care, which is you're just not going to find that. When they right. go to Quail Hollow and they go to Memorial and they go to um, the thing up in Hartford, the Travelers, yeah, the, the, the more of the top 20 are invested in those. The Hartford thing might be interesting too because that's yeah. after the U.S. Open, right. before the Open. So that also might be, we'll get to that one when the time comes. But all right, you want got anything else on that or you want to go to the last point? Um, no, go to the last point. There was something. <laughs> um, well, we already mentioned it actually. Okay. We don't have to cover that. Okay, well, let's skip that. Um, there was one last other point thing. was Rom going home. Rom will get cut, probably. Yeah, we'd love to. Now he is we'd such love, a good player. I, I, just, I can't imagine he'd want to be there over the weekend. Well, I think it's almost like share the wealth. I mean, too. Can you imagine he's sitting on the Masters Trophy and he's talking to Kelly, the wife, at you know long distance. The kids are at home and he's stuck in Harbor Town. A tournament doesn't mean anything to him. I, I can't imagine why he'd want to do that. No. No Even the caddy wants to go home, probably. Right. Like, John, why, why are we here? John. I mean, this is, this the is, this is. Rom's caddy's making more than most of the players yeah. right now. So. He seems like a good guy, too. Yeah. An interesting guy. Uh, all right, what but, else did you want to cover? Well, it's just impossible to beat the computer in the long run. So you got to give yourself the intangibles. We're going to reiterate that. But more importantly, think about Scotty Scheffler at plus 450. Four and a half to one the night before the Masters. Is he going to win one in very... Yeah, that means he has to win... One in every four masters for you to break even on that bet. That's crazy. Yeah, that's right. crazy. That to is think a great about. way of looking at that's it. That's crazy. So that that to me is the yeah. way to look at it. Is Rom gonna win one in seven masters? No, that's why he wasn't a good bet early in the week. Mm-hmm. Is Rory ever gonna win one? Who knows? But th- that's the point. Remember, the odds used to always be like eighteen to one. Yeah. These odds not have long come ago. down. Not long not ago. Not long ago. Right. A year ago. A year ago, they were always eighteen to one. Now they're starting them at to seven win. To, one, to win. To win. The winners, the favorite, the to, favorite win was, to win was right. was plus eighteen hundred or plus fifteen hundred every week. Yeah. Now somehow they're plus four hundred. Uh, uh, which, um, which, what do you think? Why do you think that's happened? I I have a very clear vision of why that's happened. Because they're criminals? They're, no, the <laughs> algorithms, put, they're just moving money around now. Right. So more I, I, people I, I, have come into the betting circle yeah. beca- beca- because they're emphasizing it. The PGA Tour is all over betting. They've been watching the show. Well, they used to want to make 8%, 7%. Now they want to make 20% on uh, a tournament. I think it's more, more uneducated money is coming into the pot, and they only bet on the players. They, they're betting, let's get real, they're betting $10, $20 on their favorite guy. Yeah. And they don't really care. It's just, oh, I'm going to bet on him. And I can root for him even harder. But great. That's what's and great for betting. And for the rest of us, that's going to screw up the odds on the favorites. and right. But make the odds on the other guys. Better. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Well, and, and like you said, they're going to put their money. And God forbid they win one. That's all they're going to think about for the next five years. I'm telling you, if Liv does not take over and dominate global golf gaming, I'll be 
very sad. Well, very disappointed. Yeah, they, they need to get some, they need to get some odds on live. We've said that. Yeah, th- that's not their way. I don't think we've mentioned fun. that. You can't bet live right now. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe lives building their own book. Maybe, maybe they won't release data. I don't know. I would think they would. So it's, I don't know why that's happening. They're getting, they're getting what does Caesars data, give no. a rap rear end about betting on? They'd put money out there. Why not in the UK? Why not the betting places, uh, you know, in Europe yeah, or you, Hong Kong you, or Macau, not Hong Kong, Macau. Now, yeah. And a conspiracy. Singapore. Theory, a conspiracy. A conspiracy. Conspiracy theorist. Conspiratorial. What are you trying to say? Conspiracy theory. Yeah. Would say that there's still a lot of guys out there that are trying to crush live, make it fail. And that's, that's one re- not to have odds on them. I seem to recall watching some show on the plot that made a lot of sense to me. Well, I understand. That's not one of them. Yeah. I don't, all right. I don't know about that. Uh, all right. Good. Anything else you want to talk about? This is the, the betting breakdown for RBC. No. I'm excited. We're going to put some money on Kisner. I'm done. I'm the just, show's putting money anymore. on Kisner. <clears throat> and... And, uh, to win and a top 10. And then I, I definitely, I might put personal money on Thigala. I think that's, I like that. Uh, yeah, I mean. Fowler, for political reasons, absolutely. Uh, Cam Young, I, yeah, I like that too. Obviously, Those. you'd love to have Thigala and Cam Young be in a Brooks Kepka situation so you can hedge them off oh, on Sunday. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, that's good. what you're looking for. You're looking right. to, for guaranteed profit. So. All right, we'll be back on this topic probably Saturday, Saturday morning. We'll watch the cut line. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll come back on this Thursday night. Maybe Thursday night, Friday morning. Maybe Thursday night. See what happened on round one. Does that mean you're gonna make? You're gonna watch the tournament? No, God, I can't okay. watch the tournament. <laughs> right. Just look at the data. No, no, no. No, I, I, I don't I, watch the games. Uh, just text yeah, me. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, just, I don't need that. Um, I, I just, you know, the intangibles. That's what you try to measure, and that's just looking in the right corners of the internet for data um, and casting a net, knowing what to look for, I guess. And yeah. we'll, we'll share more and more of that as we, as we go along because, you know, he's the math guy. I'm more of the intangibles guy. Um, but that, I think that's, yeah, I think we're on this one. All right, good uh, for now. Right. B-team is out. Dark Star's out.